What's going on everyone? Welcome to Homefront the Revolution. Today we're going to begin a new playthrough of the story mode. And uh, I just thought that I would do some commentary along with the game uh, as I haven't really done it on any of my videos before. And uh, just give you guys my overall impressions as I play through the game. Uh, not really going to react to everything that's going on while I play, but instead just kind of give you my analysis of what I see, how the game runs, you know, the different things that are going on, and so on and so forth. So for most of the videos, you probably won't hear me talking too much. You definitely won't hear me talking during the cutscenes. But uh, if I notice anything weird or notice anything I think is interesting and should be pointed out, then I'll definitely make a point to uh, bring that up to you guys. So anyways, uh, I haven't played this game yet. I never even played the closed beta, I believe it was, in February. So this is my first time playing it. I have also not played Homefront 1, so I don't know if there's going to be any story links or not. I hope there isn't, but from what I know, for the most part, this is a standalone title. Anyways, so uh, here we go. Let's begin. It started back with the Apex Corporation in the 70s and the birth of Silicon River in North Korea. Even back then, their tech was way ahead of what was coming out of America. We bought everything they could sell, from phones to tablets to just about anything. And when they started making weapons, well, we couldn't resist. Our wars in the Middle East had been getting worse and worse. One leading straight to the next. Even after that terrible day in Riyadh, we kept fighting as our country fell apart. And still, we bought Apex to give us an edge. As the dollar tanked, our debt to North Korea spiraled. Unemployment rocketed, and the country was on its knees. The failing government defaulted on the debt, and the North Koreans made their decision. Every piece of technology they'd sold us had a back door. They turned off our military with a single button press. The first KPA troops on U.S. soil were said to be there to rebuild. But after the early aid packages, there was only brutality. They stole our liberty and our freedom. America is under control of the KPA. But she will rise again. You are the revolution. Hello and welcome to KAC, I'm Su Bing Kang. Today's top story, preparations begin today for the much anticipated Patriots Day Parade. This auspicious calendar event celebrates the contribution of the liaison officers who work tirelessly to bridge the gap between the emergency administration and the ordinary citizens. To ensure the safety of the citizens during the parade, Mayor Simpson has vowed to redouble anti-terrorist efforts and has allocated additional peacekeeper resources to tackle any and all criminal activity in the lead up to the parade. Mayor Simpson has just released the following statement. We all know only too well the threats we face daily here in Philadelphia. The bombings, the shootings, all orchestrated by Benjamin Walker's national network of terror. Rest assured, we will bring these criminals to justice. Peacekeeper patrols keep our streets safe and secure for all citizens. Thanks to improved threat recognition systems in our drones, potential off, terrorists Brady. can be identified and neutralized swiftly. Fucking guy. He calls us terrorists? After what he's done? He wouldn't be so confident if he knew Walker was right here in Philly. Yeah, Walker's really gonna stir things up. How long till he's due? Five minutes. Hope one of those new drones doesn't scan him. Are we ready? I think so. Fucking hope so. <laughs> Something, eh, Brady? Only been, what, uh, 
three days with us? And you're gonna meet Walker in person? He's the whole reason I'm here. He's inspired all of us. Brady, can you pass me some gas? Thanks. I guess Walker was a legend in Washington, too, huh? I heard a little about what happened there. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here with us hey now. Hey, guys. There's something weird. The street's deserted. What? Shit. Is it us? Fuck. Walker's gonna be here any minute. It's a race! Out! Get out! We don't tell him nothing, Brady. You hear? Hello. Thank you for waiting so patiently. We can get started now. So, you are gonna tell me where I can find Benjamin Walker. You're wasting your time here. The last thing I heard, Walker was down in Memphis. You know I have superpowers. Fuck your powers, you pathetic little traitor. Oh, sounds like someone needs a demonstration. I'll show you exactly how powerful I am. I take my hand like this. I point. Mary. And... Do it, you son of a bitch! No! 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 Hey, that's something. So, how about it? Are you ready to talk now? Hold on. I'm getting tired of your bullshit! Start talking! I won't go so easy on you! It's Walker! Wait! Wait! Fuck you. I'm Walker. I'm getting out of here. Oh shit. This is the place. She'll be safe here for now, but the Norks will tear the district apart looking for us. We've got to make contact with another resistance cell. Fuck, I picked a bad time to get shot. Remember these? This phone is our ticket to safety, if you can find a network transceiver and hack into it. That'll connect us to the hidden resistance signal and show us the closest safe house. Here, take it. 
We're working blind here. You need to find a resistance stash. That should have intel on the district, including transceiver locations. But hurry, Brady. We don't have long. Good. Just another day for you and me in paradise. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing here is the frame rate is actually lower than I thought it was going to be. And even though I'm playing on a PS4, I, I definitely feel like the PS4 is capable of a higher frame rate than this. So I'm feeling like this game is really unoptimized, at least on consoles. I mean, uh, the indoor areas weren't as bad, but as soon as I've stepped out into this area here, the frame rate has dropped pretty hard. Especially when I'm looking around, it, it, it looks like it's, it's very choppy. Um, on the other hand though, uh, the environments look very nice. And even though I heard some bad stuff about the graphics, I mean, I think they look decent. Some of the textures could use a little bit of work, but um, for the most part, they seem uh, they seem nice. Like the, the 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 neon works well with like the gritty tone that they were going for. Control wise, it, it feels a little bit clunky. But uh, it, it doesn't feel too bad. Not as bad as many people were saying it was, at least. So maybe they've changed it since the beta, but I'm not too sure. 